This line right here has just rewritten the entire storyline for the Red Sea. This might be one of the best disappearing acts in geological history. Because for over half a century, scientists have been debating just how far did the Great Mycenaean Salinity Crisis go? This was a time where the Mediterranean almost dried out around 6 million years ago. And in a brand new study, scientists are saying that the crisis wasn't restricted to the Mediterranean. In fact, it went all the way down to the Red Sea Rift. Yep, this area, which will one day become an ocean, was once a giant salt flat. Think present-day Utah with the salt lakes. The authors combined high-resolution seismic data, strontium isotope dating, and fossil evidence from deep wells, and what they found was pretty cool. Around 6.2 million years ago, the entire Red Sea Basin desiccated, literally dried up. The sea floor was exposed to the air, so dry that rivers and wind carved it flat. They know this because the data showed an erosional unconformity. This is called the Great S Reflector, and it stretches hundreds of kilometers across the Red Sea Basin. It literally cuts through salt domes, shaves off Miocene and hydrite layers, and marks the moment the sea vanished. You may be wondering, how did the Red Sea just vanish? Well, back in that time, the Red Sea wasn't actually connected to the Indian Ocean the way it is today. In fact, its waters came from rivers and the Mediterranean. And during the Mycenaean Salinity Crisis, around 6 million years ago, the waters basically stopped because once the waters dropped in the Mediterranean, they stopped flowing into the Red Sea. This is what stopped the water supply. Evidence is shown in the rock record. Below the S reflector are thick evaporites, halite and hydrite, laid down trapped in hypersaline waters. Above it, open marine carbonates, full of life, foraminiferas, algae, reef boulders. This shows a sudden switch, a sudden flood. Now you may be thinking, did the corridor open again from the Mediterranean to the Red Sea? No. What we found is the waters came from the Indian Ocean. This was the time when the Red Sea finally connected to the Indian Ocean. Seismic mapping revealed a 320 kilometer long canyon running from the Hanish volcanic sill, like a scar of a massive floodgate opening. Through that channel, seawater surged northward, refilling the empty Red Sea Basin, reconnecting it to a global ocean system. And this happened almost a million years before the Zanklian flood, which occurred in the Mediterranean, which filled that basin. So for a brief, surreal moment in deep time, the Red Sea wasn't a sea at all. It was a dry, salt-crusted rift, and then a site of one of the most dramatic ocean refloods in Earth's history. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.